Morning, I'm Kevin. Welcome to my little hiking show today. Congratulations, you discovered it. Listen to those parakeets. Man, they are everywhere. Ooh, that's the problem with parakeets. Um, I'm happy for you to join my hike today. Let me just check and make sure that uh, we have room for you. Yeah, yeah, we can squeeze you in today. Today I'm hiking in Sullivan Canyon. I love this trail because it's very flat. Uh, and for that very same reason, I cannot give you any honorary steps today. I'm sorry, but my hands are tied. A lot of cyclists on this trail. You'll see a lot of dogs, a lot of cyclists whipping by. You see a lot of dogs whipping by, but you will not see any dogs on a bicycle whipping by. So if you're coming, grab your hiking shoes and a pooper scooper, because I had a very big breakfast this morning. A lot of coffee. I know. Enjoy. What'd I tell you? Oh boy, did you pick a good day to go on a hike with me. This morning we're hiking with a buddy of mine who takes huge risks when it comes to his comedy. Huge chances. You know him from his hilarious stint on SNL. You know him from his movies. And you know him from his current TV hit show, The Last Man on Earth. Today we're hiking with a very polite risk taker, Will Forte. Hey Will. Hi Kevin, how you doing? Good, nice hat by the way. Thank you very much, I like yours as well. Thank you, are you a skier? Uh, I am, I Good. am. Yeah. Good, we're gonna go skiing later on the hike. Oh, good. Yeah, we gotta get it to the snow altitude. Okay. Yeah. The snow altitude? The snow altitude. Did you have a good breakfast? Uh, I haven't eaten yet. I oh. have not eaten yet. Do you ever forget to eat all day? Never. Never. How, people say they forget to eat sometimes. How That's is that they're, possible? They're crazy. That's they're eating problem, people. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I think about is like, I, in fact, I, I think too much about it. I go, I'm not gonna eat within three hours. Like I'm, I'm just, yeah. so I'm, I am counting down. Even if <laughs> no I'm minutes. full, like I'm still waiting for three hours. I'm kind of full still from the last meal. Yeah, yeah. Once it hits three hours, it's go time again. Yeah. What's your most important uh, meal for the day? Uh, I am, and every meal is important person. Why aren't you, why aren't you like a all. big heavy set guy? I am. Look at that. It's not, I mean, it's, oh, that's not bad. I mean, it's, that's my new Tinder uh, uh, video. Your video. Morning. Yeah. Oh, don't talk to the cyclists here. That's one of the rules okay, okay. okay. You are following me up here today. Are you good at following people in a car? Uh, I didn't seem to lose you at all. I tried to. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at, at following. But sometimes when you're following somebody, they'll like point out the window, you know? They'll go point out their car window. Yeah. And you don't know what they what they mean. Is that where a parking spot? Do you want me to turn there? And you're going to come back? Is that where you buried somebody? That's uh, actually that's really funny you say that because you uh, when I was following you this time, you pointed to the parking spot and I felt I did feel for a second like Oh, I know exactly what he's talking about because there's there's like a little chemistry there that not everybody has. So yeah. I did think about that actually. But that that wasn't a parking spot. That's actually where I lost my virginity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just wanted you to know. And that. that's what, and I knew that. <laughs> Have you ever gotten lost on a hike? Uh, probably. Hmm. I can't think of a time right now, but so this will be the first time. Yes. Nice. <laughs> oh, 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 don't talk to them. Don't talk. Warren. <sighs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm talking to the. I'm sorry. <laughs> Will, do you eat processed foods? Uh, do I eat processed foods? Oh, sure. You like processed foods? I uh, I try to eat healthier as I'm getting older because you know, I, <laughs> there's actually a very effective 23andMe commercial, which uh, which is talking about how you you know if you had something about like how. If you had to get one car yes, for your yes. whole life, would you take care? And of I was like, "Oh yeah. shit!" I finally realized what I've been doing to my body low these many years, and and uh, so I know it's it's maybe too late. But yeah, they say if you if you bought a if you could only have one car in your life, you would take care of it, right? Yeah, it's the same with your body. You only get one body, so you should take care of it. You ever been arrested? Uh, I have. I have. Really? I got a DUI years and years and years ago. Uh, yeah, I was 20 something. Not proud of it, but learned a good lesson through it. Never going to do it again. Yeah. I was pretty well mannered in high school. So I think that once I got to college, I went nuts. I, I th feel like th that just not having a lot of 
high school alcohol experience has paid forward uh, to a eh, not always great relationship with drinking as yeah. an adult. And which now I think I'm getting better with. Over the long span, it's not, you know, it's the 23andMe commercial. Yeah. I, would, I was not treating my body or my mind super well. Your, your muffler's dragging right now. A little bit. You got some noises from the engine. You're not sure where they are. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, better. I'm good. I'm, I'm uh, I, I figured it out. It was, this was actually pre 23andMe commercial. I was, became aware of it. Have wonderful friends. I talked, talked to some of them about it. Kind of righted the ship. Yeah. Man, I'm feeling pretty good. That's great, man. That's yeah. Great. Well, so you're, you could kind of thank 23andMe for rescuing you from a direction you're heading. Yeah, and I am a shareholder. You are. Um, How many shares yeah. do you have? 20, not all 23. 23. Wow. 23. If you really want That's a right. thorough, you know, background research of your DNA, I would, I would go with 46 and me. 46 and me. Okay. Yeah. That would cover. Almost that would everything. cover. Uh, they so. do a background on your car as well. It, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you never been married, right? Never been married. But I did. I have. Uh, Lived with uh, women. Cohabitated. Yeah. Do you so think you, you would ever get married? You think you could handle that? Yeah. I. It's 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 more. Could a woman handle me? I'm. I'm. Yeah. I got some uh, peculiarities. You know, I'm a, a, a dipshit in many ways. I, I would assume that women would see you and love you for your humor. You know, and your your kindness and all that. But also, there's a part of you. I think women see where they want to take care of you. Is that true? <laughs> it's all part of the plan, right? You know, you, this is <laughs> that's your plan. Okay. All these, uh, these little quirks are all just wow. You got to try to lure it out. Oh, sorry. Thank you. What's up with this guy? I thought we weren't supposed no, to address. Oh, you didn't address him. You I didn't see a thing. You did. You don't follow directions, do you? No. How can you be an actor? Yeah. And, uh, <coughs> and uh, so, excuse me. No, you gotta get that out of your throat, man. <coughs> you, you getting anything out? Is there mucus? I got it. I got it. You swallow it. When I you didn't eat breakfast. Up? I didn't eat breakfast. Well, I tried to. If it had come up, if it had come up to here, I probably could have grabbed it. If it came down to here. It so there's a, there's a no return point. Yeah. Is there a line inside your throat? Yes. It's. Wow. I drew it in there. What's the worst I thing you ever did? What's the worst thing you ever coughed up? Um, the worst thing I ever coughed up, I mean, I had, the, the, I think the, it's not even the size, it's when you sometimes will have the cough up that doesn't go into your mouth but flies out accidentally, yeah. you yeah. have that, yeah. and that's very embarrassing, Yeah, that's very embarrassing. Did you ever rescue somebody that was choking? Nope. You think you could? Uh... I, I mean, so well, I, I don't know. I would say try. No. I would try. I'm going to say no because it took you too long to answer that. That's exactly what you would do. If somebody was choking, you would go like this. No, that's Should not I true. Rescue? That's not true. <laughs> I would jump right in. I think I'd get up there, but I'd maybe start doing it too politely. <laughs> yes. Like, I don't want to, you know, you hear all these people, oh, they got sued because <laughs> yeah, somebody broke, broke their ribs. rib while they were getting the, their life saved. It's like, fuck you, The worst dude. is when you get sued because when you're giving the Heimlich maneuver, you broke somebody's leg. You know, the neck. <laughs> of course you should be sued. You broke the neck. How are you doing the Heimlich? But you do seem very polite. Would you consider yourself polite? Is that what? Yeah, I think, I mean, I try to be. It's almost like you're from Canada. As a polite person, that kind of challenges you taking on a show like Last Man on Earth because you want to be nice to everybody. But you got to get a show done. You're writing it. Yeah. You know, you're producing it. You're starring in it. Do you direct any of them? No, no. I don't. I, I, Are you lazy? You got to do the... <laughs> lazy, lazy. Are you a good apologist? I'm an over-apologist. Sure. So that could be bad. Then people get sick of you. All right already. I know you're sorry. Just leave yes. me alone now. Oh, I no, apologize I used for to, uh, I definitely have gotten less apologetic. <clears throat> um... Later in life, just not, not less apologetic. Like I don't feel the need to apologize, 
more, but I don't over apologize. I, I realize like, oh, that's not something I need to apologize for. Um, I've gotten better about that. And, you know, slightly more, I don't wanna say selfish as I get older, but just val valuing my time more. Sure, um, sure. Like just, I can't do everything in my life for other people. Um, Gotta say no so to I try to, to find a good a good balance there. Yeah, yeah. I like to have closure with an apology. Yeah. I you know I need to know that they've accepted it, and then I always end my apology after the back and forth. I say, so are we cool? We good? That's it. You all right, man? Keep, I thought you were gonna keep me safe on this thing. You, I told you to wear a helmet, and you showed up with a silly hat. I said, you got to wear a helmet, Will, because there's some low-hanging branches. That's true. Whenever I run into you now, since you've been doing Last Man on Earth, I never know how you're going to look. I ran into you on a trail a couple weeks ago. I looked up, and here's his face, half a beard, half long hair. <laughs> and I thought, who? Oh, it's Will. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. When, how long did it take you to, I, that's right, I had it to take off my hat and say, yeah. Will, Will Forte. It Will. took a couple seconds to register it. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. <clears throat> That's what I love about you. You push things to the extreme. You know, you just, you're like, let's just try something different. It's, it's fun to do that. It's, it's such a, it, it's a. That's the thing about you. You are so, um, you know, like accommodating and you're polite, but some of these choices you make, these characters, they're so absurd and, and so surreal and you commit to them. You commit so hard that you'll go right into it. And, and it's almost like you don't care if you're annoying anybody. I mean, very many times it goes on the side of, oh, we are super annoyed the whole way through and never laugh at it. We're just, we stay super annoyed. But I'm always hoping for that one little moment where it's like, super annoyed, super annoyed. Okay, we'll just yeah. go with you. It's like, and I'm just like, please, please laugh. <laughs> Tell me about your Saturday Night Live audition. Okay. You I were will, at the ground, right? I'll start it by saying I, I was shitty at auditions. I started as a writer, so I would I would be at the Groundlings and every once in a while I'd get an audition. I didn't have a, a an acting agent, so I would just get auditions just every once in a while from people who would come to a Groundlings show. And I just was would get into a room and I'd be terrified and I would suck and every single character I would do, every every audition would be in this like weird southern accent i don't know yeah. why because it was <laughs> you didn't just, want to reveal yourself yeah i don't it was so i remember i got at some point it was almost famous uh some, somebody said oh come audition for the part that jimmy fallon eventually did yeah um the manager and i came in and i did the whole thing in this southern accent kind of a little bit <laughs> like, yeah. maybe a little more mellow than that you made a choice Made a choice, but there's nothing in the script that said like southern this, southern that. And the person, the casting person, said at the end, uh, "Okay, well that's. Uh, thank you very much. You, uh, can you try it without uh, uh, southern? There's a kind of a, I'm hearing southern thing." And I said, "Oh yeah, sure, sure." I'm right. hearing a southern thing. Yeah, that's because yeah. I'm doing the southern yeah. thing. <laughs> so I <laughs> then I. I did it again, probably even more so. <laughs> and they said, okay, thank you, thank you. And Jimmy Fallon went on to do that, and that would have been my big break. You would have had a late night talk show. <laughs> the SNL audition, which you, now I want to hear about yours in a sec, but mm -hmm. you do your own stuff, as you know. Like you come in, you, you do your own, so you're not going and trying to guess what some director wants. Would you do a couple characters? I was terrified, I, I, but I did. Southern the character? Good thing about SNL, I did, I did do a Southern <laughs> character. I did, I don't do impersonations, so I did Joni Mitchell singing something, and I did Michael McDonald. And I, do, oh, and I did Martin Sheen with the cold. <laughs> so I said, if I have a cold, if I don't sound like myself, it's because I, because <laughs> the cold, and if I do, it's, you know, well then I guess the cold's going away. <laughs> oh, and then the final thing, oh, I did this. Um, a sketch I used to do at the Groundlings where I'm this gold man and like the people on the busy streets who are just frozen painted all in silver yeah, right, and gold right. this yeah. guy's gold and it was this long thing where the guy doesn't move unless you put money in his hat and I would uh, 
And so eventually people put money in, I do a little move, robotic movement, and then some person comes in and takes all the money. But since he's not putting money in, I'm just sitting there, I can't move. Yeah. So he just takes the money and leaves. <laughs> and at the end of it, uh, somebody finally puts, comes back, they go, oh, why is, the, why is the gold man sad, daddy? He said, well, maybe if I, Give you, uh, you know, maybe if we put in a dollar, he'll tell you. Maybe if we put in two dollars, he'll tell you in song. <laughs> so I put in two dollars. I'll do an abbreviated version of the song. But it's, uh, uh, just because I'm a man made of gold doesn't mean I'm made out of money. But the calling I've found is to give people pleasure through incredibly precise robotic movements. That's why I come out to the streets to help me make ends meet. And I work real hard to fill up that jar. Then a bad apple ruins the barrel, heart of gold. And then people start to surround me. 24 carat, but through all the pain, I grin and I bear it, heart of gold. But I'm living a golden dream, because any way you slice it, we're all on the same team. Come on now, everybody. And then everyone starts singing, Heart of Gold, 24 karat, through all the pain. I grin and I bear it, Heart of Gold. But it don't make me no saint, because I got a little secret. I suck cock for my face pain. Come on now, everybody. Heart of Gold, I suck cock for my face pain. I suck cock for my face pain. Oh man, sorry about that. Will Forte, such a heart of gold though, so polite. Um, the only downside was I felt like I had to take care of him on the whole hike. Oh well, thanks for joining me you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications and we'll catch you next time. And don't forget a helmet. Oh, and a pooper scooper.